Welcome back. Today on Play Piano TV, we're going to be learning all about time signatures. Oh, how I love time signatures. Well, not really. In retrospect, I never really think about time signatures. But they are important, very important. Let me ask you something. Do you like it when things are clean and organized? Well, I do. And if you're like me, you'll understand why time signatures are important. Time signatures are the organizers of notation or music notes on a page. It divides the entire piece by the same number of beats into something called bars. Let me show you what I mean. Here is an example. Here we have a time signature of 4-4 four, four, and two bars or measures of music. The two numbers in the time signature mean two different things. The top number tells you how many beats are in each bar, while the bottom number tells you what kind of note gets the beat. So, in the case of the 4-4 four, four time signature, the top number of 4 implies that there are 4 beats in each bar of the song. As you can see, the music starts with a half note, which equals 2 beats, then 2 quarter notes, which combined equal another 2 beats, and then everything in the bar equals 4 beats. The next bar has 4 16th notes, together equaling 1 beat, 1 quarter note equaling 1 beat, and a half note equaling 2 beats, and together it all equals 4. Are you getting this? I hope so. Now, as I said before, the bottom note represents what kind of note gets the beat. Here's how to think of it. What fraction is this? Yes, it's one whole. So if there was a 1 on the bottom of the time signature, the whole note would get the beat. How about this fraction? Yes, it's 1 half. So if a 2 was on the bottom of a time signature, the half note would be getting the beat. How about this fraction? It's a quarter. So if a 4 was on the bottom, the quarter note would get the beat. This fraction? That's right, it's an eighth. So if an 8 was on the bottom, an eighth note would get the beat. Let's look at some time signatures that musicians see every day and try to read the layout of what the music will look like. This time signature is 3-4, which means that three beats are in each bar and the quarter note gets the beat. You will find that most waltzes are written in this time signature. Let's try another one. Alright, this time signature is 2-4, which means that there's going to be two beats in each bar while the quarter note gets the beat. Okay, now this time signature is 4-4, four, four, which means that there are four beats in each bar and the quarter note gets the beat. Now this time signature is also represented by a C, which stands for common, as 4-4 four, four is the most common of the time signatures. Alright, let's do two more. This time signature is 6-8, which means that there are six beats in each bar and the eighth note gets the beat. You will find that almost all Celtic music uses this time signature. Alright, last one. This time signature is 9-8, which means that there are nine beats in each bar and the eighth note gets the beat. That's all there is to knowing your time signatures. We'll see you in the next video.